All right. <laughs> Thank you. Meanwhile, comedian Jeff Dunham is returning this week with his 11th stand-up special featuring all of your fan favorites, and his too. Welcome to the part of the show where you get to hear what I think about stuff after I've had a few, which is like all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I get so drunk that I can't remember how to set my alarm clock, so I just turn on my microwave for eight hours. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> All right, here with more in his special, uh, Me the People. Jeff Dunham along with fan favorite Peanut. Welcome back, Jeff. Oh, good, good to see you guys. Good Thanks see you. for having us. It is good to be here on Fox. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Where, where does peanut come from? You don't look like a peanut. Yeah, you're not really human. No, we don't know what I am, and we don't care, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, does, yeah. how does your 11 special compare to your other 10? Better? You know, it's funny. Whenever whenever Schwarzenegger would come up with a new movie, he'd always say, it's the best one ever, right? Yeah, he yeah. always say that. Honestly, my 11th one, this has to be one of the top two or three, because, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because we had two years, to two and a half years to get ready for this one. Yeah, because I sat, sat at home doing nothing. <laughs> and now we're here. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know what it is, but uh, this one turned out great. We shot it in Washington, D.C. You almost showed up. Right. Yeah, because you were going to do some backstage stuff. Yeah, but we then gonna... you didn't. Right. <laughs> so, so let me ask you, what has changed about comedy over the last? Few well, years? you know, it is tough being a comedian right now because you say one thing, or not just a comedian, anybody in show business, you know, you guys, you, you say one thing and you're done, you're canceled, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. But my, I, I think the problem is that, that comedians are picking sides, and I don't know why they have to do that. They pick one side, then they trash the other side. They call right. everybody morons, and both sides does it, and then you're eliminating half your audience or half the the people that could be your audience. So I don't do that. I go back to the days of maybe Will Rogers, Bob. Hope, Carson, Leno, you never knew what their politics yeah, were. The and so you pick on both sides just a little bit. Don't be nasty and don't be name calling. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> what inspired this special and what, what, what can we expect? Well, uh, all the characters are in it, and uh, and uh, Walter, uh, my older curmudgeonly guy, mm -hmm. yeah, he uh, looks a little bit like Biden. And when Trump was in office, we had fun with that. And now, oh my, how can you not make fun of what's going on now? So Walter dresses up like Biden, and um, he's in the show. I yeah. can <laughs> hardly wait. Yeah. You also have a, a new character, Earl. Earl. We're, we're going to introduce the folks to Earl right. right now from Me the People. Hi, Earl. Hey, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm texting. OK, but you know we have an audience. Yeah, a lot of them are texting, too. <laughs> Jeff, why are you the only one with a microphone? <laughs> Oh, don't kill the magic. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I do radio, uh, you know, it's in the days of comedy clubs, and I'd sit down with the morning guys, right. and inevitably the engineer would be putting a mic in front of the dummy. That's yeah. great. What you didn't see with Earl there is he's, he's actually texting on his phone he the entire time. He's also wearing this and, ear and, things. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I create characters that respond to what's going on in the world and everybody can identify with. We're all stuck on our devices too much. Kids dealing with parents, parents dealing with kids. And when and you so, look in the audience, are they doing that sometimes? Uh, well, that's, that's one of, one of the jokes I said, uh, I, I, Earl's texting, and I go, we're in front of an audience. And he looks up and he goes, yeah, a lot of them are texting too. So, you know, it's uh, it's just responding to what's well, going Jeff, on. You've had so much success mm -hmm. with, uh, with your talents. Mm -hmm. And I know you started this in third grade. Right. How is it, what is it like when you're out and about and you don't have some of your characters with you or do you uh, take them with you? Do you well, did you take them on crutch. dates? Did you take them on dates? Yeah, you, you know, no, no I, I say this all the time. No woman has ever said ventriloquist, that's hot. <laughs> no one's ever said that. So no, he doesn't come, none of the dummies come on the dates, but uh, I, I, it's just been a part of my life forever. Mm. And so it's gotten me a lot of places and kept him out of a lot of places as well. Yeah, yeah. so, and kicked out. And you're going to a lot of places because you're still Still not canceled tour. That's the name of the tour, and I was telling you earlier in the show when I named the tour "Still Not Canceled" because it's just I have a loyal audience that knows what they're getting. They right. come in, and uh, I have people from both sides of the aisle, and uh, we have we have a lot of fun. It's uh, it's great, goofy, stupid fun. You're not going to learn anything, right. Brian. <laughs> and I just think it's also important that you have not changed. The let comedy change. You're not going to change. Yeah, no. It's like that's one of the th things that I say at the very beginning of the show in my stand-up. You know, it, comedians 
these are getting canceled left and right. right. But I have a loyal crowd, like I said, and mm -hmm. I, I just, I don't care. Sure. I'm going to do the comedy, and you're yes. going to have fun. Jeff. <laughs> he has enough money. Jeff. You can cancel him. <laughs> Jeff. That's the part you know yeah. you don't say, it, Brian. Uh, yeah. yeah. Jeff, will you have Peanut read your tease? Oh, I, absolutely. Okay. Uh, uh, Jeff Dunham, uh, Me the People airs this Friday on Comedy Central. And for more details on tour dates and tickets, visit JeffDunham.com slash Tours. Very nicely we done. We can do yeah. this. I want to do yeah. this. I want to sit right here next to Brian. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I think it's, hey, you're both wearing purple. Right? <laughs> Why not? Peanut, you got one more line. Okay, more Fox and Friends moments away. That was more Thanks, than one guy. line. Uh, oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.